We begin tonight at five with developing news, a major setback for students in Hartford after a ransomware attack on schools there. The city was forced to delay the start of the school year, but tonight we have just learned the system has been fixed and classes will begin tomorrow. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal is live at Bulkley High School now with the latest. Aya. Hi, Erin. Yeah, 18,000 students were set to start the new school year today, and so they were certainly shocked when they found out classes wouldn't be starting today. And while no ransom money was demanded, IT teams spent the day going through desktop computers at all 40 Hartford Public Schools. I'm definitely shocked at this point. Rondell Burns, two children should have started elementary school today. To hear that is, is, is caused by some cyber it's, it's this very disappointing, yeah. disappointing for me as a parent, and I know it's definitely disappointing for them as kids. Yeah. I do miss my friends and my teachers. At this point, officials do not believe hackers stole any private or personal information. More than 200 of the city's 300 servers were affected. The superintendent delayed the start of school because the attack impacted the system that allows the city to route school buses. We also don't know whether it was deliberately timed or designed to target the first day of school. The attack compromised the student information system used by Hartford schools. It was restored within seven hours. As you know, we are heavily relying on all of our technology and on our staff's ability to access uh, technology in order to deliver um, remote instruction. IT teams are assessing the impact on staff technology, specifically desktops. Devices students have are connected to a cloud-based platform, so they were not affected. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin says investments made last year in cybersecurity significantly limited damage from the attack. Meanwhile, parents hope their kids can safely start the school year soon. Hopefully we could get over past this whole situation and be able to get the kids back in school where they belong because I feel like it's been far too long that they've been out of school. So right now, officials don't know who is behind this ransomware attack, but the FBI is now involved and investigating. But again, we just learned that Hartford Public Schools will start off again tomorrow. And coming up later tonight on Eyewitness News at 6, we're going to look at the impact of this ransomware attack on Hartford's public safety system. Reporting live tonight in Hartford, Aya Glau, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.